So you've been planning the big RV trip for a while. You've made a way to spend an extended time away from home, either working remotely or just being off the clock. You're really looking forward to exploring the great places out there. But wait, what about the house? How do we ensure everything is okay at home while we're on the road having fun? In this video, I'll provide 10 things you can think through that will help you monitor the home front while you're away. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. Thanks for visiting the On The Road YouTube channel. This channel is all about helping you get the most out of your RV travel experience. Before we get going, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. So here's my story. First, I think it's pretty important to have peace of mind about your house while you're on the road. And I want to share the things I've learned firsthand to help you have a better time away when you travel. I have now done several extended trips away from home working remotely in my trailers. This past extended Florida trip, I actually had my house thermostat die midwinter. It could have been a real disaster, but wasn't. There were several precautions that were in place that helped avoid this potential nightmare. And I'll elaborate more on what happened and the solution as we go through the video. At the end of the video, I'll include the most important thing to have while away. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing we want to talk about is a video doorbell. Now, what I mean by this is either the Ring doorbell or the Nest Hello doorbell generally. You know, this enables you to see who's at the front door and it will capture short videos when there's motion at the front door, which is really important. Of course, you need to be careful with the sensitivity, especially if you're pointing to a busy road. You know, one of the very nice things about having a ring doorbell or a front doorbell camera is it'll tell you when packages are dropped off. So for example, say you mistakenly send a package to your default Amazon address when you're away. Now that can happen easily if you don't change your address. Or someone, say a family member or a friend, sends you a package to your house address while you're away. The important thing here is that you can see when these packages are dropped off and that can alert you to uh, a situation that you may have to deal with while you're away. Also, you can actually answer the doorbell when someone rings it, making it appear that you're actually at home. And there can be a little delay in bandwidth with this, so it may not work as well as you might think it does, like on the commercials, but generally, if someone rings a doorbell, you can actually answer it when you're away. The next thing that a ring doorbell uh, actually does is it allows you to see when or if, say, snow services or lawn services are being carried out. It's very important, you know, so that someone who's doing services on your house can't claim that a service was done when it actually didn't happen. You know, if you have a ring doorbell pointing to the front of your yard, you'll see when someone comes and does services. So it'll ensure that services are being performed when they're supposed to be. So here's a tip. You gotta have good internet and fast Wi-Fi router for this to work well. And remember, don't unplug it accidentally before you leave the house. So the second thing about guarding the home front is Wi-Fi cameras. So these can allow you to see inside and outside the house when you're away. You know, both Ring and Google have indoor and outdoor cameras that hook up to their systems. So you can actually see what's going on inside or outside your house. They're also available from other vendors, and so you need to look at that. Some of them are quite a bit more cost effective. It allows you obviously to monitor what's going on inside and outside the house, and you can record video when motion is detected. So here's a tip about this. Make sure you put the camera where it can swivel, if it's a swivel type camera, and can actually see both inside and outside the house if you want to keep your camera expenses to a minimum. The next thing, number three, we're going to look at is a weather station. So a nice weather station will keep you aware of internal and external temperatures in and around your house. It'll actually show you this so you can see it. It allows for visual monitoring of the temperatures via the aforementioned Wi-Fi camera. This is what happened in my situation when my thermostat died. I reviewed the camera feed live daily while away and noticed that the normal 58 degrees was not being held. 58 degrees became 54 degrees, then 49, then 46 degrees over a couple days. At this point, I knew that there was a problem. So there's more on this story as we move on. The tip here is to make sure the battery for the external sensor is replaced on your weather station before you leave for your trip. 
Okay, the fourth thing we're going to look at is water alarms. Now this can save from a water disaster. You can buy a small Wi-Fi enabled water alarm at a big box store that will send a message to you if the alarm has sounded. Now the way they work is that if you have a water issue on a floor, say in a basement floor, you can put an alarm there and if water contacts the alarm, it'll go off. If you're in the house, these will be pretty loud by the way. Now I have them placed near my water heater and other areas in the foundation of the house where I may have an issue in a monumental rain event. So here's a tip, test the alarms and replace the batteries before you leave on your big trip. Okay, the fifth thing to look at is programmable lights. These will make your house look like it's lived in while you're gone. Now you can use the basic timer lights for interior lights. The problem here is that it's gonna cause the lights to come on at the same time every day. The better timers are actually ones that replace light switches and have a random vacation mode. They work well for outdoor lights if you put them on a dusk to dawn setting for your front porch, for example. They also work very well for interior lights in random mode. The latter can be expensive, but are a very good security precaution. So here's a tip. Decide on which lights to invest more in for greater effect. For example, you don't want to put one of these timers on a basement light, for example, but ones that can be seen from the outside. So let's look at the sixth thing, and that is next door. Now next door is kind of like a Facebook for your local neighborhood. It allows you to monitor neighborhood issues. Okay, it lets you keep track of neighborhood news, events, and issues. Now I check next door every so often to see if anything's going on in my local neighborhood. It provides a way for private messaging to close by neighbors if something's going on. So here's a tip. Avoid broadcasting your absence to the entire neighborhood. I really use Nextdoor just to monitor what's going on. I really don't post a lot of things while I'm away. More on this later. So the seventh thing we're going to look at is putting your mail on hold. This will allow you to hold your mail at the post office so that it doesn't accumulate at the house. Now the United States Postal Service allows for a 30-day mail hold. If you decided to do a longer trip than 30 days, you may need an alternative versus multiple 30-day holds. You can have mail forwarded, but you know it only works if you're going to be at one location while away. There are also paid services that will accumulate and send your mail on, but that's not in the scope of this video. So here's a tip. If you're going to be gone less than 30 days, you can set up an online hold. For more than 30 days, talk to your local postmaster about options. So the eighth thing is to put a hold on your garbage. You can actually get a credit for services unused. It's called a vacation hold. This was unknown to me that you could do this until I found out about it and actually got credited for weeks unused. So here's a tip. Try to leave with empty trash cans. Ask a neighbor to pull your cans from the street if service is after you leave. The ninth thing we're going to look at is lawn care and snow services. This is going to ensure your house looks lived in while you're gone. So lawn care needs to continue while you're away. Make sure you use a reliable service. Likewise, snow services for your driveway needs to happen while you're gone. Again, use someone reliable. So here's a tip. See if your lawn service or snow service will accept electronic payments to avoid having to send checks in the mail while you're away. Also, start the services before you leave to ensure you're pleased with the reliability and quality. So the 10th thing is to find a trusted neighbor or friend who's nearby. This is vital in emergencies. So let me conclude my story. I realized the house was cooling down while away by daily looking at my live video feed, which was focused on the weather station. Once I realized that we had a heating problem, I contacted a trusted neighbor and let them know. This neighbor was already trusted before I left. As we both had RVs, and I'd shown them my new trailers when I purchased them. They understood my dilemma right away and could relate and ask what they could do to help. After a call to my contracted local HVAC company, my trusted neighbor let the HVAC person into the house. It was quickly discovered that it was only a thermostat that had failed. This was a huge relief as a furnace repair or replacement would have been a large ordeal. Within a few hours, the house was fine again. So here's the tip. Develop a mutual friendship with a trusted neighbor. Look for anyone who also RVs and make sure they can be discreet. Also think about a service contract with a local dependable HVAC company. This ensured I was prioritized for service and at a lower rate on parts and labor. So there's my story and some things to consider before that big RV trip. 
you have been looking forward to. Hopefully you've found a few things you can do to bolster monitoring the home front so you can really enjoy that long awaited extended trip away. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and share it. If you have questions or other tips for monitoring the home front that weren't mentioned, feel free to post them in the comments section below this video. Also, we have many of the specific items mentioned on our Amazon storefront at amazon.com slash shop slash John Marucci. Just look for the home front section of the store. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is John Marucci and so long for now.